Hey, 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 welcome back. Welcome to my channel, Life with Sanitaga. And thanks for joining. I wanted to share this message with you guys today when we end the year 2022 and start the year 2023, which will help you to sail through those tides, sail through those tough moments, as well as enjoy those beautiful moments, beautiful times with your family, bring some motivation to you and help you to sail through 2023. Before we start, do me a favor, definitely hit the notification button and like and subscribe so that you can spread the word. And the key here is patience. As it says, losing patience is losing the battle. So I want to start today by sharing with you an interesting story that I heard in a gathering. Once upon a time, Lord was walking to spread the word with his disciples. And Lord got tired. They started or started to rest somewhere, thought we'll take a deep breath and rest for some time. Lord asked his disciple to get him some water. Now, as the disciple looked around to see if they can get some water for the Lord, they saw a small pond which had some water in it. But immediately when they were looking at it, they saw a wagon drive through that pond which made the water more musty and more dusty. They got worried since they did not see any other water body around and they knew the Lord was thirsty. They went back to the Lord and saw the Lord was resting. They didn't want to move them or wake them up from the sleep. So they went back again to the water to see if there's anything else they can get. In this process of going back and forth, they lost a lot of time but their aim and objective was to get some water for the Lord and for themselves too, which will help them to move forward in their journey. Eventually they saw the dust was settling down on the water. The top layer of the water was clean. They were excited. Yes, we have the water we need. We can provide it to the Lord. We can have it for ourselves and we can move forward. And that's kind of got them excited more as they took the water to the Lord. After taking a sip, Lord looked back on the disciples and said, I hope you learned something today. And that made them curious as what is Lord really referring to? Because they just waited there, held their horses for the water to settle down, for the dust to settle down so that they can get some clean water. And that was the key. That was their key there, right there. And that's why Lord wanted them to see patience. It's the key. Patience is the key. If you lose your patience, you lose your battle. You lose your motivation. You lose your goals, your objective in life. You cannot let that go. You need to keep flowing. You need to keep growing. You need to keep moving forward. Lord pointed them back. I knew every time you came to me to tell me about the water. I just wanted you to wait. I just wanted you to have patience and see how time takes its toll and let everything settle down and help you to see things more clearly. Now, this could be to any of your relationships. This could be your life objective, your career. You cannot let yourself down. You cannot let yourself slow down. You have to keep moving forward. But on the same time, you have to hold your patience. Things settle down. Things become more clear. Everything becomes more clear. You got this. You cannot let this flow from your hand. You have to give time. Time settles everything. Time is the biggest healer and time is the biggest helper in the life. In this new year 2023 patience and effort will help you sail through those winds, will help you sail through those storms, will help you sail through the difficult situations. You have to move forward, you have to keep growing, you have to keep moving. Until then definitely like and subscribe and be kind to each other.